The New, Alb New Albany Floyd County Schools Corporation is closing its virtual academy after just one year. WDRB's Katrina Nickel explains why the district says it's now better prepared for in-person learning. On school days, eighth grade student Gracie Beach wakes up each morning and opens her laptop to log on to her math and English classes with a live teacher. Thought it was great. As the day goes on, she's able to complete the rest of her assignments and lessons at her own pace. And I was able to do other things while, you know, getting in what I learned and what I needed to learn. And I thought that was amazing. And that's something you can't get in regular school. Beach is one of around 170 students in New Albany Floyd County School Corporation's Virtual Academy. Originally created to give students an at home option during the pandemic, it's become the best learning environment for some students like Beach. I was really able to be creative. I was able to really ask questions and get answers that I really needed that would benefit me and help me out. But the virtual academy will no longer be an option. Following a four to three vote, the school board decided to close down the program after its first year. Was broken hearted, Something actually. Gracie Beach's father, Jeff, was disappointed to hear. They opened the door and let her advance and move faster and and I think it would be the same experience even if you were had a child that was had trouble coming to school or had anxiety or family struggles or what whatever it is. The virtual academy board member Leanne Weishart is one of the four members who voted to close it. She says parents' concerns like beaches can be addressed in traditional school settings in ways they weren't before the pandemic. Now, because of our ESSER money, we have mental health services in all of our schools like we've never had before. Weishart also says that the district is revamping its alternative education programs and could begin offering students in person more personalized learning options, whether that be one on one instruction time or with virtual programs. I think we can do it. But the beaches believe that can only happen if a fully virtual option is offered. In New Albany, Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.